If you love to travel, then you know about the importance of learning about cultural differences so that you can adapt better to a foreign culture. But there comes a point to where these cultural norms can actually be different laws. And so in this video, I'm gonna share with you some uncommon things that you wouldn't think would be illegal in other countries. The US is known as a very consumeristic society and oftentimes, our practices are exported to other countries, but it seems that our affinity toward fast fashion or basically buying clothes that fall apart is becoming a thing of the past in other places. In 2023, the European Parliament adopted recommendations to ban the destruction of unsold or returned garments. They also added regulations on how long textile products can last and how they're recycled. Fast fashion is a problem because the entire business model relies on us consumers buying more and buying more products that are designed to fall apart. So I, for one, am happy to see this practice go away and hopefully we move to a more sustainable clothing model. Foods, oh boy, there are plenty of everyday foods that you might be eating in the United States which are banned in other countries. Where to begin? Chlorinated chicken. This is the practice of washing our chickens with chlorine, which is a practice that is banned in the UK and Europe. There are also many additives to foods in the US that are banned elsewhere, especially food dyes. So food dyes such as yellow number five, yellow number six, red 40, these can show up in a lot of foods from Doritos and mac and cheese to potentially your favorite cereals and candies. I'm talking Fruit Loops, Lucky Charms, Skittles, and M&Ms. But uh, these additives are harmful and known carcinogen. The UK, Norway, Finland, and Switzerland are among the countries who ban such food additives. And in many cases, this also includes an additive to farmed salmon in the US. So if you see anything that says Atlantic salmon, and this additive is called astaxanthin, is actually a petrochemical that is banned in Australia and New Zealand. And it's fed to the salmon because they don't get the nutrients they need to naturally turn their skin pink. That this product is added to the feed to literally dye the salmon skin pink. And this is banned in other places. Potassium bromate and this other word that I can barely pronounce are commonly used in baking bread in the United States and also in bleaching the dough and making it whiter. The problem is that these are known carcinogens linked to a ton of different health problems. So if you've ever seen these food warnings at bakeries and coffee shops and places like California, that's what this is about. So these are banned in countries such as China, Canada, and within the European Union for their damaging health effects. All of this is to explain why some of your favorite foods are made with completely different ingredients abroad, oatmeal, Mountain Dew, and Heinz ketchup being among them. US sourced GMO foods such as corn and papaya are also banned in many countries worldwide. And unfortunately, this is not an exhaustive list, but you get the idea. US foods can be toxic and they are banned in many places around the world. Every country has a minimum wage, but the US is the only country I know of in the world that actually has a separate federally mandated minimum wage specifically for tipped workers. This minimum wage can go down as low as $2.13 per hour, and it's something that you'll commonly see in the restaurant industry. This practice is something that I accepted as normal growing up in the United States, and it's something that I experienced while I was waiting tables during college, getting paid $2 per hour and trying to survive on tips alone. Sadly, while researching this video and trying to find out why tipping is such a thing in the United States, I found out the practice is rooted in slavery. Apparently back in the 1850s, wealthy Americans traveled to Europe where they discovered an old medieval custom where wealthy European-based landowners 
would pay their serfs an extra tip for a job well done. And these US citizens brought the practice back to North America, where after a few years it was adopted. And this escalated after the Civil War when freed slaves had very limited job prospects and they were often forced to work for free with their only hope of wages being through tips from guests or customers. And this practice has persisted ever since. And according to the director of the Food Labor Research Center at UC Berkeley, these industries demanded the right to basically continue slavery with a zero dollar wage and tip. It's the legacy of slavery that turned the tip in the United States from a bonus or extra to a wage itself. But fortunately, there are advocates and activists who are working to end this concept of a tipping minimum wage. Another practice that is unique to the United States that you won't find almost anywhere else, at least not to the same degree, is pharmaceutical ads. And the practice of advertising pharmaceutical drugs is well known to US citizens because anytime you turn on the regular TV, cable television, you will be bombarded by very frequent commercial breaks and often marketing pharmaceutical drugs. This is another thing that I grew up thinking was normal until I left the country and I realized that these ads were no longer a part of my life and it's something that I am very grateful for. Some drugs can be advertised on a limited basis in different countries, uh, but overall, the countries have made it very clear that they don't want their societies to become like the United States where this pharma advertising is so ubiquitous and allowed. Another thing that's allowed in the US, but not in many other countries, is using single-use plastic bags. Now, whereas some states, such as California and New York, have begun to regulate the use of these bags, the average American still uses about 300 plastic bags per year. However, it's reported that up to 100 different countries have restricted or banned the use of these thin plastic bags around the world. Kenya, Rwanda, Bangladesh, and Thailand are a few examples, but France, Germany, Italy, Iceland, and Albania are among 18 European countries who ban plastic bags. A plastic bag is only used for an average of 12 minutes before it's tossed into the trash, the street, or a waterway. And more than three trillion plastic bags have already been produced this year. So to avoid traveling with plastic bags, then pack a reusable nylon or cloth bag into your luggage. And I have more tips on this in my packing video that you can watch right here. Turning right on a red light is something that I thought was allowed everywhere until I started traveling internationally. And I found out that turning right on red in countries such as France, Germany, and Italy is actually illegal. And the same goes for countries that drive on the left-hand side, such as Ireland and the UK, where turning left on red is also not allowed. So if you're planning on renting a car when you're traveling, then make sure to check the local laws before hitting the road. Speaking of driving, it's hard to imagine the US without our giant trucks and SUVs, but as it turns out, quite a few countries around the world are planning to ban the sale of gas and diesel vehicles as early as 2030. And in many places, including the UK where I am right now, there are already emissions in certain towns and neighborhoods where you can actually get fined for driving a gas guzzling car into the city center or certain neighborhoods. Britain plans to ban the sale of new gas and diesel cars and vans starting in 2030, while Norway has a deadline for 2025. Adultery is another thing that is allowed in the United States, but not in other places. But the weird thing with the US is that there's still old laws on the books that make adultery a crime, although these are no longer enforced and maybe unconstitutional in most cases. Fortunately, adultery is no longer a crime in the US, Canada, and most of Latin America, all the countries in Europe, and Southeast Asia, but it's not that way everywhere. 
adultery was just decriminalized in South Korea between 2008 and 2015, but it's still illegal in neighboring Thailand and the Philippines, where a spouse can file a criminal complaint against an unfaithful partner. It's also illegal in parts of the Middle East, Southwest Asia, and Africa, including Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, and Somalia. Travel to Cuba for tourist activities is prohibited from the US, but not from other countries. I was lucky to be able to travel to Cuba in 2016 during the brief time that we were able to go there for tourism, but these days you have to qualify for one of 12 other reasons to be able to travel to Cuba, which can include official government business, visiting family or relatives, educational or religious purposes. Spanking your child is somehow still allowed in all 50 US states, and corporal punishment in public schools is still allowed as well in many states such as Florida and Georgia. But this is not the case in other countries. More than 60 countries have banned spanking or smacking your kids, including Sweden, Norway, Finland, Austria, Israel, and Colombia. Fracking is a highly controversial technique for extracting oil and gas from shale rock. And what people don't like about fracking is that it wreaks havoc on the environment from the millions of tons of methane gas that it releases into the air, which is a more harmful greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide, to the way that it destroys natural animal habitats and also contaminates the water supply. So although fracking is a common practice in the US and also in Canada and some countries around the world, it's also been banned in many others due to a public outcry and resistance to the practice. So France, Spain, and Bulgaria are just a few of the countries around the world who have banned fracking and hopefully other countries do the same. What are some things that you think are weird about the US that aren't allowed anywhere else? Let me know in the comments below. And to find out what I think is weird about the UK, then watch this video next.